All right, let's do our warm ups. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, core activated, shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. And take a moment, focus inward and breathe. Exhale, tension, sink evenly into your feet. And let's do our warm ups. Arms at shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands behind you. Lift your heart as you breathe in and stretch, spreading your toes and pivot at your hips. Exhale, over. Lift the sitting bones to stretch the back of your legs. Move your chin around, make sure you're not crunching the back of your neck. And then knees slightly bent, chin slightly in, work your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up and lift your heart. So another upper body back bend, spread your toes, stretch your head back and breathe. Inhale upright, release your arms and take a moment feeling how your body responds. And we'll do the same thing. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Press them to the floor, spread your toes, lift your heart, and then again, pivot over. Deepen as much as you'd like, lift your sitting bones, get those legs stretching even more. Breathe a couple of times, and then with your knees slightly bent, once more, work your way up into the back bend. As deeply as you'd like, lifting your heart, stretching your head away. Drop those shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. Come on up on an inhalation and release into mountain pose. Take a moment there, breathing, feeling your body. Side stretches, so let's keep one arm down, the other one out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push to the side, no twist, and push the foot you're leaning away from down. Feel those ribs stretch even more. Reach out through your fingertips and your head. And then inhale up, release that arm, and do the other side. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push to the side, push the foot down you're leaning away from. Make sure you're not leaning forward, so you can look up toward that arm just slightly if you want. And again, feel the ribs stretch and open. And then inhale to the top and release. Take a moment and breathe as you get back into mountain pose. Get ready for our twist. So remember, really stretch the spine apart, spread your toes, and bring your arms to shoulder level. Palms up, hands over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Stretch the spine apart, sitting bones down, crown high, and turn to one side. Keep the weight on both feet, <clears throat> spread your toes, and exhale over. Deepen as much as you'd like, lift your sitting bones, and again, keep the weight on both feet. Work your way up in an inhalation into the upper body only back bend. Remember always gentle with your low back when you're twisting. Elbows back, chest up. Take a moment breathing, feel the twist. Inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms, balance it out. Arms by your ears, shoulders down. Stretch the spine apart and twist to the other side. A breath in and exhale over. And again, deepen as far as it feels right for you on this side. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit more. Check if you've got your weight on both feet, even though you're turned to one side. And again, on an inhalation, come on up, lifting your heart. Shoulders down, elbows back, upper body only for your back bend. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center. 
Arms up, shoulders down, extended mat, and sink evenly into your feet. Keep your arms by your ears, pivot forward right at the hips. See if you can get parallel to the floor and stretch things out. Shoulders though toward your waist, and then drop into ragdoll. Just hang a moment. Breathe. Lift your sitting bones. Go a little deeper with your hands behind your legs, if you like. And then arms back to the center. And another roll up from the bottom of your spine all the way to the top. Bring your shoulders back and down. Take a moment in mountain pose. Again, just feeling the spine more activated, getting ready for a little balance practice today. So take your favorite balance foot, either one will do, and spread out your toes. So remember, no gripping with the toes, kind of lift them, spread them out, but don't grip the base of the toes, bend all of the foot area, and the heel support you on that foot. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up and activate your core, making sure you're supporting your low back. So ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart. Sitting bones, shoulder blades down and then bring the other leg up. As you sink into that foot, just allow the other leg to come up as far as you want and circle your ankle. Both ways, find your stability. Flex the point, straighten the ankle out, and put it down. Take what worked, shift it to the other side for the warm-up, spreading your toes, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined, core active. Keep those shoulders back and down. Take a moment and breathe with the crown reaching up and bring your other foot up. And again, only as high as it wants to go today, don't cross it over. And then when you're stable, Work your ankle. This foot is still wrong. <laughs> and again, flex the point and bring that foot down. Both feet on the ground. Take a moment and breathe. Feel your balance and get ready for. Let's do tree. So again, pick your balance foot. Turn the other foot to the side. Take a moment getting grounded. Remember, still ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core still active, shoulders back and down. Slide that heel up just a little. Keep the knee going out toward the side or toward the calf or toward the thigh or cross it in front. Push the legs and foot together as much as is comfortable and bring your hands to your heart. Stay there if that's a good enough amount or bring your hands up toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe. Extend those arms if you want. And turn your knee to the front, bringing your arms down and release into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe as you get back into your standing position, getting ready to, of course, balance with the other side. Heel in toward the arch, knee straight out to the side, hips stay open, remember. And again, make sure everything is aligned, activated, shoulders relaxed, and down. Bring your heel up just a little to the calf or the thigh. And again, find your stability, hands at your heart. If you like, bring those hands all the way up into your extended tree. Breathing into it, finding your position. And again, knee to the front, hands coming down and back into mountain pose. Exhale any tension and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, looking at the thumbs, bring them behind you for that back bend one more time. Palms out. Swan dive forward, pivoting over, halfway down, stretch it out, and drop into ragdoll again. Just stretch the back of your legs. Hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch, lengthen through the spine. And then exhaling down, palms together, and again, inhale, 
all the way into our back. Hands to the ceiling, lift your heart, pull the thumbs back, and then the back bend through your chest. Exhale, hands down, and into mountain pose. Take a moment there, and step one. So toes to the front, sitting bones down, hips open to the front, and shoulders relaxing. Take a moment to breathe. Bring your thumbs to that hip crease, pivot, and bring your body parallel to the floor. So just let your hands stay there at the hip crease, just right at that joint, and push the sitting bones further back. Crown forward, tuck your chin a little bit, stretching the back of your neck, spread your toes out. Exhale any tension. And then if you want, pivot a little further, lifting your sitting bones. So go ahead and breathe, just stretching out through the back of your legs. Take a moment, breathing deep and maybe a little bit further. Lift the sitting bones even further. Feel that back of the leg get a good stretch. And then pivot again up, halfway up, parallel to the floor. And all the way back to standing. Take a moment there. Relax your arms and breathe. And then we'll turn the foot to the side, but not the hips and turn the other foot back, and then turn both hips to the front. So you're pulling the back hip forward, pulling the front hip back. Take your hands, bring them into reverse prayer between your shoulder blades, or just clasp at your lower back. And then pivot at that hip joint again, and come forward. So push the sitting bones both evenly back, as you bring your whole body parallel to the floor. Spread your toes, get the weight into the back foot as much as the front foot. Feel the stretch on the back of both legs, keep them straight in pyramid. Take a breath. Again, you can check to make sure the back of your neck isn't crunching. So don't look forward, keep looking down at your foot. Stretch it out, breathe into it. And then inhale, coming back up, releasing your arms, and turning your feet forward. Take a moment as you get back into that wide leg stance, and feel the backs of your legs maybe a little more stretched. We'll go the other way. So turn the foot to the side, heel back, toes forward. Keep those hips still facing forward initially, and then pull the back hip up and the front hip back. Take a moment there, getting things situated, and bring your hands either to reverse prayer or clasp at your waist. Take a breath <clears throat> and pivot at your hips. Keep those hips even, sitting bones even as you come um, parallel to the floor. Keep looking at your foot, not forward, don't crunch your neck. So the whole spine is straight, the legs are straight, the knees are straight, feel everything is stretching through the backs of the legs and the spine. Take a moment there, get the weight into both feet. Breathe, make sure that core is still active, supporting your low back, nice and straight. And again, inhale, come on back up, releasing your arms, turning your feet to the front, and step into mat pose. Take a moment there. And again, thumbs to the hip crease. Pivot forward. Push the sitting bones back. Crown to the front. Keep looking down at the floor. Slide your leg, hands down your legs. <clears throat> Bend your knees if you need to. And hold your toes. So, Index and middle finger at the bottom of your big toe and thumbs on the outside. And then straighten your knees as much as you can, coming into gorilla pose and straighten your spine. 
So sitting bones and crown push away, chin slightly towards your chest. Get your knees and arms as straight as you can and breathe. If that's not deep enough for you for this stretch on the back of your legs, you can lift your toes and put your fingers under your toes and the backs of your fingers along the floor. And then again, straighten your arms and knees and spine in your gorilla pose. Take a moment and breathe into it. Stretch it out as much as you can along the backs of your legs. And then releasing your arm, hands or fingers or whatever from your feet. Slowly wind your way again with that rounded back coming all the way back up again into mountain pose. Shoulders down, crown high, hands to your heart. Look at your fingers as you bring them toward the ceiling. Keep stretching through the back of the neck, though. Remember, don't lift your chin. Pull the thumbs back and lift your heart. Other back bend, stretch it out. And let's swan dive, arms out to the side. Keep those legs as straight as you can, pivoting again at your hips. And then all the way down into leg dog. Take a moment there, just round a little bit. And then bring your hands under your knees for our halfway up stretch. So elbows, knees, and spine, everything straight as you stretch. And then bend your knees coming to the floor into our child pose. Transitioning hips to your heels, releasing the back of the legs, hands next to you, forehead down. Take a breath or two there, just around to your shoulders, letting the whole back stretch. And then inhaling, sit up and slide off, coming into a wide-legged position. So stretching out the legs, pushing up through the toes, back out through the heels. Keep the backs of the knees relaxing down. So kneecaps pulling toward your thighs. Tighten the front of your thighs. Let the back of your legs get a good stretch. Kind of make sure those sitting bones are slightly behind you, pushing them back, letting that inner thigh get a little more stretch as well. Take a moment there and breathe. And bring your hands to your sides, shoulders down, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, bring your hands down. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale, coming down. Push those sitting bones slightly back as you bring your hands up and pivot at the hip joint coming forward. Bring your hands straight next to your ears out to the front and look at the floor. <clears throat> Stretch the back of your neck so the whole spine gets as straight as you can make it. And then you can bring your hands to the floor or your feet, whatever's more comfortable. Take a breath. Exhale. You can bring your hands toward that hip crease if you want. And again, keep pivoting down a little bit more. Keep those knees as straight as you can. Take a moment there, just feeling that stretch on your legs. Breathing into it, stretching out through the heels, pulling the toes back. And then bring your arms again by your ears. Shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Straighten everything out and pivot all the way up. Release the hands, bend your knees and bring the legs in. And wrap your arms around. Give yourself a good hug. And then bring your feet out a little bit, knees straight up, feet flat on the floor. Grab your big toes again, like we did for gorilla pose, with the two, the index and middle fingers underneath and the thumbs on the outside. Stay on your sitting bones. Don't roll onto your sacrum as you bring your heels in until you get your balance with your feet slightly off the floor. So you're on your sitting bones. Your spine is straight. Your shoulders relaxing down. You're holding your toes. You've got your knees bent in toward you. And you can stay there. Or if you want, you can bring your legs out. 
You can straighten them as much as you can, getting them as straight as you can, staying in your balance. Or you can bring the legs out to the side into that wide leg balance. So many options. You can stay bent knee. You can get your knees as straight as you can. You can keep them straight in front of you. Or you can bring them wide. It's always personal choice in your yoga practice. Shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist, crown reaching away toward the ceiling. And don't forget keeping that core active, supporting the low back. Breathing, maximizing or minimizing, always doing what's right for you in your balance practice. And then slowly bring your feet together and bend your knees. Heels toward the floor, keep your balance, and then release the feet and slide them forward. Coming into staff position, feel that core activated, shoulders down, crown toward the ceiling, and don't forget to breathe. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Still in staff position, keep that core active, and we'll roll all the way down. So take a moment, relax it, no more balance, letting your body just sink for a moment into that surface beneath you. Sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, bring the heels right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. Remember, don't let them flop apart or in toward each other. We'll do a little bridge pose. So sitting bones toward your heels, hands next to your palms down, and push your, sit your hip bones up, keeping those knees straight above your ankles. Come onto your shoulders, maybe a little higher, clasp your hands underneath, and work up onto the tops of your shoulders. Keep the head on the floor, not your neck, and lift the hips. Activate that core. Breathe into it, release your hands, press them the other way, and press them back down. And again, work maybe higher onto your shoulders, lift those hip bones, spread your toes, let the weight be on both feet evenly. Take a breath, keep that core working, and then releasing your hands, release your shoulders, onto your shoulder blades, down onto your ribs, and finally your spine to the head. Take a breath and relax. Hands out to the sides, two position. Go ahead and extend the legs back out. We'll do our bent knee chiropractic twist for that low back area today. So keep the left leg out, bend the right knee with the sitting bones toward your heels. Flip to the upper left side. And we'll roll all the way to the left side. Head on the floor. Don't work your neck too hard. Bring your hands together and your knee to the floor. Keep the knee down for that low back twist. Be padded if you need to. And bring the right hand to the ceiling. Open the hand toward the ceiling. Back of the hand coming right at shoulder level behind you. So not up towards your head or down toward your feet, but straight back, opening across the heart. And turn your head for that neck area twist. Maximize for your body only as much as it's right for you. Knee down, that's the low back twist. Pad if you need to for a gentler twist. Head turning as much or as little as your neck wants. And of course, hand coming toward the floor, only as far as gravity and that's to bring it. Take a breath. Really exhale. Let those ligaments release. Allow the spine to maybe deepen even further into the twist. Always personal practice for your twist. And when you're ready to release, release your knee or your leg and roll onto your back. Slide that foot down near the other one. Getting ready, twist to the opposite side. So again, sitting on slightly towards your heels as you bend the left leg, foot to the right foot. Head on the floor as you roll all the way to the right. 
Knee down, hands together in front of you. Hold the knee with your right hand and look up toward your left hand above your shoulder. Keep following it back toward the floor into your twist. And again, maximize or minimize for your twist depending on what your body needs. Breathing with it, exhaling tension. Letting the twist happen, not forcing anything. More the knee is down, remember that the low back is twisting. Pat on your if you need. And turning as much as your neck needs or wants. And just let gravity do the rest of the work, bringing your hand toward the floor. It may be different on each side, just let it be. Know that your body is habitual in what it does during the day. And in yoga, we try to balance things out with our twists and our practice. Take a breath. Just relaxing. Letting everything go as deeply as it wants to go. And of course, when you're ready to release, lift up your knee, roll onto your back. Slight foot near the other one, straighten things out, getting ready in corpse position for our final relaxation. Toes toward each other and then just relaxing the whole lower body. Lots of work there today, just let it go. Shoulders releasing down toward the floor, your hands, palms up away from your sides. See that whole upper body relax as well. If you have side to side, release the neck. Make sure there's no tightness there. Study it, find its nice neutral position as you breathe. And as you scan through your body, find any tension or tightness. Breathe there. Exhale. Let your whole body relax. Deepening into that earthbound connection. Letting the earth support you. Let your body go completely. And as your body relaxes even more with each exhalation, just let it sink into the earth embrace and allow your awareness to release your body, knowing that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let the thoughts float in and out as easy as your breath. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice for you to pay attention. So let the thoughts disappear with our awareness. Flowing in and flowing out as you lose your breath. Just allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Let it focus inward. Finding the peace within. <clears throat> Deepen into that peace, filling your body and your mind. Just be peace. And keep the relaxing as long as you have time today. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Enjoy energy and awareness with your breath. Back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin stretching your body gently, moving as deeply as you'd like as you breathe more fully. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels. And your heels toward your hips. Draw your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug today. 
Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does every day for you. And when you're ready to release that stretch, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll me to the side, and sit back up anyway for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.